Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Tevi Latori and this is the Tori Standard. In today's video, I'll be doing a follow-up on the part one of the video on confidence. I went into detail about what confidence is and more on the spiritual aspect of confidence was dealt with and what to do when you can't trust in yourself and your own abilities. Today I'll just be sharing some simple ways in which I was able to develop my self-confidence and self-esteem. If you're interested, stick around. And remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so you get an alert every time I upload a new video. Let's get started. We already established in the previous video what the definition of confidence was. It is based on feelings of well-being and basically just self-acceptance. Accepting your abilities, your skills, believing in yourself as well as believing as well as acceptance in your flaws nobody is perfect so we all have flaws and faults things that we don't like about ourselves things that need work but that does not take away from the fact that you're still an amazing human being self-confidence is like a muscle you have to keep exercising it and working on it for it to become strong and develop and grow so these simple steps can help. First, silence the negative thoughts in your mind. Stop speaking negatively about yourself. Everything is, I can't, I'm too short, I'm too tall, my feet are too big. Stop speaking negatively about yourself. Think about the things that you can do and celebrate that about yourself. I can dance, I can sing, Maybe I have a creative mind, I have a creative eye, I can dress well, I speak well, I maintain relationships well. Just celebrate the little things about yourself. Negative thoughts usually morph into negative actions. The way you think is eventually the way you're going to act. And that can come across. I mean, people can see see you not being sure of yourself and think exactly that about you but if you consistently speak positive things about yourself about your life about where you're going to be what you're going to become you will recognize that your words have power i mean if you can trick yourself or if you can make yourself believe these things eventually you become just that two bear in mind that you will never be enough for everybody that's just how it is. Everybody's not gonna like you. You're not gonna be everybody's friend, but that's okay. You have your circle and the people that appreciate you and value you for who you are. So make the best of them. That brings me to another point. Surround yourself with like-minded, positive people. I can't stress how important this is. Negative people can drain the life out of you. You know there's a saying, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are? Well, it's actually true. Good vibes only is a really good motto to live by. Next, accept yourself. Now you know what you do best. You know all those things about you that are good and you know the parts about you that are not so good and may need some work so accept that you're good in one area and may not be so excellent in another area make a vow to work on the things that that you're not so good at and eventually from this side they'll go over to the good side but it all starts with self introspection you have to look within confidence is not something that somebody else can come and just put in your lap so here's the bag of confidence you have to work on that with the things that you have it's like baking a cake you need flour you need milk you need salt you need baking powder you have all your ingredients you have to know whether you're going to put vanilla in this cake chocolate mix in this cake lemon peels in this cake you decide the things that you are gonna add to your life and 
add to your cake to make it delectable another thing that's important is to have a really big filter now this personally helped because I used to take every single thing every single criticism everything that somebody had to say that was negative I used to take it as guy needs to say it to heart and find different ways to change myself to suit the relevant persons remember you won't be enough for everybody but learn to take that criticism take what's for you and keep that what is not for you or what you strongly believe it's not of your character and who you are leave it aside they'll understand you have to remember to be true to yourself in whatever you do also surround yourself with people that root for you people that understand who you are as a person and can actually complement you in your life they understand where you want to go what you want to achieve and they don't tend to pull you apart just to suit their expectations of you next be assertive now, this is easier said than done it's hard sometimes to stand up for what you believe in and stand up to persons that you know always have something to say you know there are some people that always have something to say oh my god they can be annoying and draining at times but you have to figure out a unique way to deal with that when I started this channel just a little above a month ago there were so many thoughts in my head like what would people say I mean I have a business degree what would somebody else think and stuff like that and there were some pretty negative comments they weren't said to my face but I still heard them anyway but what would have happened if I had listened to them and not go ahead and do what I think is right and what makes me happy I probably would have been very miserable sitting here thinking oh what if oh I should have oh I could have but I learned over time to block things out it's also important to remember that people who usually talk bad about somebody else is looking at that person through a mirror maybe they see something in, in you that they would have wanted to achieve or they think they have the skills to achieve but for whatever reason could not have or just did not take that step but because you did it it probably caused some insecurities of their own to arise and then it comes out in that form so those are all important points to remember don't cut back at everything and get to Facebook run to Facebook and talk down the other person just leave them be learn to block negative thoughts and negative people out of your mind it will serve you no good in the end two other important points is one to set reasonable goals set daily goals that you can achieve start out small don't start out the first day setting a goal to read two books in 24 hours and you know you have a full-time job and you have to come home and wash and you have lunch to prepare and dinner to make etc etc take your time set small goals that you can achieve in a short space of time and celebrate yourself when you achieve your goals taking things off of a list can give you so much satisfaction you won't even believe it but it just shows you that you can actually achieve the things that you set out to do and eventually those goals will get bigger and bigger and bigger and you'll look back in about five years time and realize like how did I do that like did I do this and then you take a day and you celebrate yourself celebrate the wins in your life if nobody else celebrates you you celebrate yourself the persons that know me know that I like to celebrate everything I'm just a joyous person I like to celebrate birthdays I celebrate holidays I celebrate milestones it just get, it gives me a satisfaction it gives me that sense of achievement and I always remember to return thanks to God because without him we couldn't have done any of it I might be all over the place here but I'm just talking off the top of my head we just want to have a relaxed candid conversation not without without all of the notes and the structure etc another thing that I did constantly was talking to myself in the mirror and this might sound very cliche because everybody tells you to do it but it works 
look at yourself look at your face look at your body look at your posture and speak positive things to yourself you are loved you're blessed I'm created to do great things I'm a boss I'm going to be the next best thing in my country say positive speak positive things to yourself constantly and watch them come to pass if everybody else can have something else to say to you and about you why not say things positive things to yourself about yourself try it and let me know how it goes the second one is keep a visual reminder of things that make you happy and things that you want to achieve also known as a vision board now, I created one on Pinterest I created several on Pinterest about my future what I wanted to become what I wanted my style to evolve into uh, what I wanted my house to look like on the inside things like that it's usually when we see things we're more prone to believe them so if you can see yourself achieving some goal in the near or distant future you work more assiduously to achieving that goal and vision boards can serve as a constant reminder that you know what this is what I set out to do this is what this is the reason I started doing what I did it gives you that push maybe on days when you're feeling not so great about yourself did I mention to take care of yourself I can't stress the importance of that enough and if you don't take care of yourself who else will you can't trust anybody else to do that for you pamper yourself get your nails done your hair done buy a new outfit go get a massage maybe do a mani and pedi a day do self-care Sundays maybe call up your girlfriend or your sister and do self-care days these things will help you to feel more alive more relaxed and you realize when you feel good you do good when you feel great about yourself you're more likely to accomplish the task that you set out you're more likely to be nicer to people and you're more likely to be more productive in your day i remember when i was at university during my final exams i would always dress up i probably planned my outfit days in advance just to make sure that i look my best on that day and do my makeup and make sure that my pencils and my bag and my bottles match. That's my little way of doing it, but those things help me to feel more confident going into an exam. Because I realize when I look good, I am more productive. Something else that you should do is set standards and boundaries to remind you how to treat yourself and also how to let others treat you. If it's too much to remember off the top of your head, make a list. These are the things that I will no longer do. These are the places that I will no longer go to. These are the persons that I will no longer allow to speak to me a certain way or to do certain things that make me uncomfortable. Another thing to do is to remember to pat yourself on the back. Now, society puts a lot of pressure on you especially on young women it's always oh when you're gonna get married and then when you do get married it's when are you gonna have kids and things of that nature but you know your goals and you know where you are at this point in your life I'm 25 and sometimes even I put immense pressure on myself to do better constantly and be better because for some reason or the other I thought that I would have been farther along in, in life in my career etc but a friend once told me Tev you actually accomplished way more than I did when I was your age not to compare because comparison really is the teeth of joy don't look at anybody else and see what everybody else is doing and try to compare yourself to them. You're not them. Your future is not going to be like theirs. Your life is not like theirs. God's plan for you is totally different from his plan for that person. So don't try to compare yourself to your friend or to somebody you've seen on Instagram, especially somebody that you've seen on Instagram. Today, everybody's life is perfect online or seems to be perfect online but behind closed doors you really don't know what's going on 
so celebrate your own little achievements and congratulate yourself for it you've done a heck of a job so you deserve a round of applause so these are just some of the little ways and the little steps that I took that gradually helped me to become the young woman that I am today I hope it helps somebody if you struggled with self-esteem and confidence in the past and you're out of that place now or you know in the comment section some things that you think can help somebody else some things that you did that helped you when you were in that position and if you still are struggling with self-esteem remember you have to start somewhere you don't just wake up one morning and be great you have to start somewhere so make the little steps to achieve the bigger goals Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me on the Tory Standard. I had so much fun just talking off the top of my head. Tell me if you like this video and what else you guys would like to see. I know you guys are really, really coming at me to do a makeup tutorial. Please note, guys, I'm not a makeup artist, but I'll probably do a get ready with me video sometime soon. Uh, so you guys can see how I do my makeup before I go. You're loved, you're great, you're blessed, you are enough, and you are created to do exploits. See you next time.